Hey, you're interested in playing saxophone. I want to give you some pros and cons to help you make your decision whether you should play it or not. So one thing you might be happy to hear is that saxophone's actually an easy instrument to get started with. A lot of people who are beginners to playing saxophone think that it's a really easy instrument, especially if you've played a musical instrument before, like if you've played piano, you might pick up a saxophone and within the first few minutes, you'll be playing your favorite song, like Jingle Bells or something like that. On the flip side though, if you want to get really good at playing saxophone, it can actually be very difficult to do. Just like anything else, if you want to master something in life, it can take a lot of work and a lot of time. So don't let that discourage you. You can actually get started really fast on saxophone, so it's a really fun instrument to be a beginner on. So here's another negative to playing the saxophone. It's a really loud instrument. It's an acoustic instrument as well. The good news is that there are ways to make your saxophone quieter. You can just play quietly, that might be enough, but you can also use something like a sax mute one or a sound booth to make yourself quieter. Also, if you play during daytime hours, you probably won't have to worry about it because a lot of neighbors don't mind so much if you're noisy during the day. So as long as you have a place where you can play out loud, you'll be fine getting started learning how to play saxophone. One of the best things about playing saxophone though is that it's an instrument that sounds really sweet. A lot of people say that it sounds a lot like the human voice, and that's what makes it so great when you're playing it as a solo instrument on a song. You can replace the singer, and it's a lot of fun to play it that way. But also, just like the human voice, the saxophone is monophonic. That just means that it can play only one note at a time. But the human voice can also only do one note at a time, so you can use the saxophone anywhere that you would have a singer, and then some more places too, like in horn sections. Here's a really important thing you should keep in mind though when you're getting started with saxophone. These instruments are not in concert pitch. That means a C on the saxophone is not the same as a C on piano. So a C on the piano would sound like this. I have to play an A on my alto sax in order to play the same note that was played as a C on the piano. That's a C on the alto sax. It's actually a different note. You can still think of a C as a C, you just need to realize that you're not playing the same notes as everybody else in the band. So once you realize that, you'll be fine. This is something that you can get used to over time, but it's something you need to be aware of when you get started. Another really important thing to know is that the saxophone is actually never truly in tune. It's up to you, the player, to be in tune with every note you play. A lot like a singer who has to hit the pitch perfectly every time they sing a note, you have to do that on saxophone as well. And it's something you can do with muscle memory, so it's possible to do, it just takes some practice. But really, one of the biggest reasons people want to play saxophone in the first place is that it looks really cool. And it's actually a lot of fun to play as well, so it's worth it if you want to play saxophone. You'll have fun with it. You have to take good care of saxophones, though. Because they're acoustic instruments, if they're in bad shape, the sound's not gonna be quite right. So one thing I like to do is to make sure my mouth is clean before I play. I don't eat food right before playing. I don't drink juice right before playing. And as long as my mouth is clean, I can feel confident that I'm not going to damage the saxophone in the long term. You'll also have to make sure that you're cleaning your saxophone properly every time you play it. I have a video about that, so I'll link it in the description below. Another thing to keep in mind is that saxophones can be expensive. Some of the high-end saxophones are thousands of dollars, but at the same time, you can get cheap ones on Amazon for maybe a couple hundred dollars. The difference is not so much the sound. You can sound really good on those saxophones. The difference though is the quality. So over time, they will break down faster and you have to make sure that you're also getting it from a manufacturer that you can trust because some saxophone equipment has toxic materials in it. So be very careful when buying stuff on Amazon. I would always say it's safest to go to a music store that you can trust and get your stuff there. Make sure you try it out first, that it's all comfortable, and then you can buy it. But it's good to know that there are saxophones on Amazon that will sound really good as well when you pick them up and play. So if you made it this far into the video and you're still interested in playing saxophone, I actually have a beginner course on my website. It's free, and you can get it by clicking on the description below this video. Thanks, see you next time.